Welcome back, welcome back to the channel everyone. Thanks for watching this video. Today we're gonna have a look at our friend of the channel, Georgia Don't Call Me Glenn Serial Transparency. <laughs> In this video, we're gonna watch uh, Georgie and his friend Lana get laughed out of an office by two employees, and while they think that they got the upper hand, they really get owned. It's a really satisfying video and really goes to show how these government employers are finding humor and the nonsense that these frauditors do. So guys, sit back, relax, Enjoy the video. GT reporting on an updated story released by the J-Town Press regarding the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office in Florida and an unconstitutional trespass against a citizen journalist. Be sure to go check out the J-Town Press for the original story in Monticello, Georgia. Towards the end of 2023, J-Town was laughed at by the staff and public defender Catherine Turner for exercising rights to ask questions to our government. Appearing that Catherine called Sergeant Wren Johnson of the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. Also, Sergeant James Stutler arrived on the scene and issued J-Town a trespass on public property without any commission of any crimes occurring. Sergeant Wren Johnson also appeared to follow suit and enforce such an unconstitutional act. These two being of higher rank and possibly supervisors should know the laws and obey the oath they swore to uphold. If J-Town was placed under arrest, then these two deputies, along with the county and the state public defender's office, could have been answering to a federal judge. So I see what's happening here. Old Georgie boy, a.k.a. Russell Pickron, is upset that the, the, the employees didn't get on their hands and knees and look up to the heavens and bow before the fraudster that was trying to bully and harass them. And guess what? I don't recall laughing not being a constitutionally protected activity under the First Amendment. I could be wrong. I see your little made up dress back. Yeah. And I call bullshit. So I don't know what you're actually doing. Oh, okay. If this is like for YouTube. Do, do you understand what the First Amendment is? <laughs> Freedom of press? Oh, you know what? If you were really legit, you would call the Tallahassee office at 1000 and ask to speak with Michael McNamara because he's our general counsel. As it is, you're just here harassing me and potentially. I asked you. So pretty much this video is just these two ladies laughing at Lana because they know that she's full of BS. And I suspect that they have watched her channel and see exactly what her channel is about and what she does. And the thing is, they're not falling for the bait. They're not getting annoyed. They're not getting harassed. They're just laughing at her. They're just telling her that she's a joke, which she is. So, I mean, again, that's not violating the First Amendment. But old Russie boy and JC, whatever her name is, oh, wow, they're getting butt hurt because someone's laughing at them. I mean, they laugh at public employees all the time, too. But then, oh, someone laughs at me. Oh, it's a First Amendment violation. Give me a break. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of this, guys. For a public records request, I was actually looking at your per, your, pro, your public information here, your brochure. Yeah, absolutely. We'll let you talk to them. Yeah, absolutely. I was actually looking at your public information here. I mean, that's what I did when you when I approached. Just when I thought I could get nowhere. Oh my god! I mean, I surrendered. Now, when I filled out the job application, they did not put this on. They didn't no. put this on here. No. They did not put this on here. <laughs> this is great. This is great. I love how they're just absolutely making Lana sound like a clown that she is. Now, what's going to happen is you guys might get a bit triggered halfway through this video because it's going to sound like that their conduct was inappropriate here, but we'll explain the logistics of that as we get to this point, we get to that point of the video. But <laughs> look, look, I mean, Lana's acting like a clown, harassing and annoying these public employees. And guess what? They absolutely can laugh at her to her face. Absolutely. Well, that's a cute little face, Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, my pre-K. Sharpie or what? Crayola. Crayola. Yeah, Crayola. What records requesting are you requesting? I, I want your personnel file and I want your last pay stub. <laughs> Are you not a public employee? I'm talking to you, sweetheart. Okay. Honey, honey. Am I supposed to be intimidated by your dollars? Am I supposed to be intimidated by your laughter? I'm screaming! I'm screaming. Is this how you treat all the members of the public? You're not going to take up my time. My You're here. I was literally making a, a, a round of a foot. Yeah. How you doing, sir? Good. How are you? And what's your name? So as you guys can clearly see, this is Georgia Transparency trimming forward in the video. Not to create transparency, not to show people the whole story, just to demonstrate his narrative and try and make law enforcement look bad. So we're going to watch the rest of this video and watch his narrative and explain why that is simply not the case, specifically which what, with, 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 with what happens. Because he's going to put it out to as these ladies were practically fired because they laughed at JC now, News Now or J-Town Press. Well, then again, she probably is JC News Now. They're probably the same person. I don't know. But watch what actually happens, despite the narrative that they create. Have a look. On or around March 7th, 2024, Georgia Transparency and J-Town visited Monticello and the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. We spoke with Chief Deputy Connect, and he stated that the trespass is no longer in effect. Connect also stated they have both done some retraining. Both deputies were disciplined by the Sheriff and Chief Deputy for their ill regard for the people's rights while in public and also to protect this oath they swore to uphold which also covers in that oath the first amendment okay guys so this is the specific letter that was released by the jefferson county sheriff's office now how russell pickron is going to try and push it is oh the whole department was was put on notice of what we do and oh these two ladies were seriously reprimanded for their actions what I see it as is the department being notified that, hey, these are the auditors. They try and get under your skin. They try and verbally bully and harass you. But instead of laughing in their face, let's engage in a more professional manner. Now, think about it. Dolph, they say that they were verbally notified. They verbally were, were reprimanded. They verbally were spoken to. That doesn't mean that they were reprimanded in a serious manner. It just means that they were told, hey, look, you have to uphold your standard of work in a, in, in a specific manner. Do not let these trolls get under your skin. That's what that says to me. So for old Russell Pickron trying to say, hey, uh, you, uh, you know, they were held accountable and they were reprimanded for their conduct and laughing at us. No. They were simply educated as to how to handle trolls like you better. That simple. Hey. Hey. How are you? Are you the chief deputy? Yes, ma'am. I'm sure you've seen my video. Yes, ma'am. I have. Um, I guess I just wanted to ask, because mm -hmm. I just want to finish, you know, exercise my rights on public property. Okay. Is what the uh, the two, I guess it was the detective and the sergeant, is that unlawful, unconstitutional trespass still in effect? No. Okay. So I can go back on the property, nothing will happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Did, did, were they reprimanded by chance? Yes, we did talk to them verbally. Okay. And, uh, I mean, because I'm assuming you saw what I did when I came in. Yeah. <laughs> I was literally, literally looking at the pamphlets. Yeah. yeah. And we've retrained. Okay. We've been retrained. Yeah, that's what I'm going to ask for you. Yeah. And how do you say your name? Kinnett. Kinnett. Okay. Yes. I have to get butchered. And so, no, I, it gets <laughs> a long time. And, and if you've seen, I'm sure you peruse my channel, uh, I have a lot of really good and bad yes. interaction with law enforcement. Mm -hmm. I'd much rather them have good interaction, especially with, Absolutely. Deputies, especially with the Sheriff's Department, because I feel like they specifically work for the people, and they represent the civil rights of the people. So that's what blew my mind when I came here, and then that happened, you know? Yeah. It happens sometimes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we can retrain and retrain and retrain, yeah, and it just happens sometimes. Yeah. That's I'm sorry sure. it did, but yeah. it did. Yeah. yeah. And we retrained and... Yeah, I appreciate it. I just want to find it. Yeah, I just want to find it if I was able to go back on no, there. It, yeah. uh, when, when we, Found out about it. Yeah. Rewarded it. 
I appreciate it. Okay. Hey, stay safe out there. All right. Thank, thank you. you. God bless. Have a good day. You too. I also spoke with, uh, my name's Russ, Georgia Transparency. Okay. I did a piece on this as well. I spoke with the female deputy, uh, not deputy, but the investigator that was out there in that incident. And uh, she was very rude and hung up the phone and just, and I tried calling back and she wouldn't answer the phone okay. and stuff like that. So I'm wondering if you could address that as well. Um, I get it if she can't comment or if she couldn't say anything, you know, the professional thing would be, hey, you know, no comment. You need to contact X, Y, Z, not just click and then not answer the phone. And you, so yeah, she's, uh, yeah. Okay, cool beans. I will speak to her. Ah, thank you so much. All right. All right Y'all have a great day. You thank too. you. God bless. Thank you. Okay, so let's analyze again what really happened. Because they're going to try and make it look like, oh, yeah, these employees were seriously reprimanded. They were punished because of the way they treated us because we're journalists, and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. But in reality, what I saw was a perfect example of de-escalation tactics. The frauditors are quick to say, de-escalate, officer de-escalate the situation and guess what this supervisor got the frauditors out of the building he got old rusty and j town out of the building he got them to leave so that they could stop harassing people in the building even though as you'll see coming forward they try and harass people again and by their conduct oddly enough you'll be able to see how they have actually been educated so therefore they're going to say, oh, yeah, this officer admitted misconduct. What I see is the officer saying, hey, look, you guys now know to act in a professional manner. But also, if these guys come up to harass you, go ahead and defuse the situation. That's what I saw from that from that supervisor just now. After we left the sheriff's office, we conducted a revisit. However, the interaction was similar, except for the laughing at people's constitutional rights. The front desk reception is hid in the back and upon re-entering the lobby, she was playing on her phone. After noticing a camera in the lobby, she shut down the office and turned off all the lights. So entering a public lobby with a camera, does the public defender's office in Monticello, Georgia just shut off services to the public? No, Rusty boy. I mean, Glenn Serio. I mean, Rusty. No, 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 no. They're not denying services to the public. They're denying services to the irritants and the harassers of you and Lana. Because that's all that you're going back to do. Antagonize, intimidate, and harass. And they simply, as you will see, de-escalated the situation and removed themselves from you and your camera. Which, to me, is the textbook definition of de-escalation. So if anything, kudos to these workers because they took the counsel that they were given by their higher ups to engage in a more professional manner with someone that is being disruptive. Yep. Hey, how's it going? Hey, good, good. Just taking some pictures and video. All right, sounds good. Let me know if you need anything. Thank I, you. Is it a question by chance? Uh, what was that? The one? the black lady that sits up here. Yeah, and, and the uh, the other lady too. The lead. What was, what was her name? She poked her head around the corner. Did she? Yeah. What girl? Yeah. Okay. I forget what her name is. Oh, I just saw her poke her head around the corner. Yeah, is Catherine Turner in? No, she's not. Okay, we just want to get a comment. Can I have a, a I have a, I have a question. Um, do you find it funny to laugh at journalists asking for public records? That right there is a topic I want to dive into at a later time in a different video. But they use this phrase, oh, you're targeting a journalist at wanting to obtain public records. No, Rusty, my friend. The Supreme Court has ruled that all because someone has a YouTube channel, this does not classify them and give them the rights that a normal journalist would have to obtain certain and specific information. Some records, journalists or members of the media might, again, the keyword is might, be able to access, but regular members of the public cannot. Now, you, 
do not classify as the media. You are a private citizen that is a quote unquote self-proclaimed journalist. So therefore, at the end of the day, no rights are being violated here. No journalists are being denied their right to do pre or press or due process. So therefore, there's nothing wrong here. <laughs> what right of suppressing are you requesting? I, I, want I want your, your personnel, personnel file and I want, I want your last pay stub. Oh, 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 oh. Are you are not you a public, public employee? I'm talking to you, sweetheart. Okay. okay. This is honey. Honey. <laughs> I'm going to work, but y'all take care. Hang on as long as you like. Did y'all get educated? Thank you. She said, hang on as long as you like. Especially on camera, that would put down. Just peek through the window real quick and see. I can't see. Is she there? Ma'am, do we still laugh? <laughs> what right of suppressing are you requesting? I, I, want I want your personnel file, file and I want your last pay stub. <laughs> Are you not a public employee? I'm talking to you, sweetheart. Okay. This is honey. Honey. She said, hang on as long as you like. Ma'am, do we still laugh? She ain't laughing no more. Catherine Turner was not available for a statement. Catherine was paid $97,087.35 gross for the year 2023. The people's tax money funded her to act this way when being approached by a citizen journalist only looking into the local government. Word Dilly Cat. That's spelled D I L L I G I M. Dilly Cat. And it means, do I look like I give a. Such a huge disgrace Catherine was to the state of Florida. Catherine is a licensed attorney in the state of Florida and she put her license, the state of Florida, and Jefferson County in a position to be sued in a federal court. Katherine Turner, you are such a disgrace. You are horrible. I don't understand how you're still in that office and why you're not seeking employment elsewhere. Well, what do you know? It looks like old Georgia transparency got his feelings hurt. <laughs> I mean, this whole tirade was because they had their feelings hurt that, remember, the ladies laughing, which again, is their right under free speech, insulted Lana and laughed at them and humiliated them. Such a satisfying video. And I'm glad that accountability and awareness was created after this. But anyway, thank you guys for your support. See you guys in the next one.